Hi everyone. Today we're going to learn about interquartile range. Yes, another weird sounding word, but trust me, it's not hard at all. So we're going to do interquartile range and we're going to learn about box plots too. Interquartile range is so easy. We get to do two things this week. I know you're all very excited. <laughs> so interquartile range um, starts with something we learned about two weeks ago, which was the median. I'm sure you all re remember that the median is the number in the middle. That's right. And there were two steps when finding the median. What did we have to do first? Remember I had all the stuffed animals there and I made them line up in order from the smallest to the largest. That's right. So we're going to get a data set. We're going to put them in order and we're going to find the median. Then we're going to find the median of the lower group of numbers and the upper group of numbers and find the range. And the range, if you remember, we take the high and we subtract the low. So that sounds like a lot of information, but it's um, it's going to be easier once we see it. So why don't we just start with an example. Let's get a data set and we will go from there. Okay. I have my students here with me today. We got a new group, Snoopy, Spider-Man. Snoopy. I said Snoopy, didn't I? I thought you said Snoopy. <laughs> Javanyan, we got a mushroom, we got Cappy. And a dog. And a dog. So we're going to need some uh, more data than that. But uh, so Snoopy, how long did you spend playing video games yesterday? Three hours, Snoopy. Wow. That's how about you, Spidey? Oh, just an hour you were busy, you know, do, swinging the streets of New York City. Jabanyan, two. How about you, Mr. Mushroom? He doesn't have hands. So one, um, Cappy, Cappy, you spent seven hours playing video games. That's a normal time. Not surprising. How about you, uh, Christmas pup? Four, and we're, I'm just going to give a few more numbers because we have six. Let's say somebody else spent five, two, three. So we're going to make it easy for the first one. I got nine numbers in my data set. So again, first thing I want to do is find the median. And to do that, I have to line them up. And then find the one in the middle. All right, so I have two ones, two twos, two threes. a four, a five, and a seven. I always like to count. There were nine numbers to start to make sure I got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hooray, I got them. Okay, Yay. so now I find the one number in the middle. Since there's nine, there's only gonna be one number in the middle. Our middle number is a three. Now, we have to find our lower middle and our upper middle. So here's the rule. When there's one number in the middle, it doesn't count. We separate the lower and the upper around the one number in the middle. So this is my low. This is my high or upper. Now I find the middle of both of those. Well, there are four numbers here now. So I'm going to put a box around there. Am I allowed to have two numbers in the middle when I do a median? I am not. Who remembers what I do when I have two in the middle? I add them together and divide by two. Woohoo! Knowledge! One plus two is three. Three divided by two is 1.5. So that is my lower quartile median. Now I do the same with the high. 3, 4, 5. 4 and 5 are in the middle. 
So again, I'm not allowed to have 2 in the middle, so I add them together and divide by 2. 4 plus 5 is 9. 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. Now I just find the range of those two numbers. So my upper was 4.5. My lower median was 1.5. I subtract. My interquartile range, or I'll probably call it the IQR a lot because that is, is 3. So there's three hours between the upper and the lower playing video games. Let's do another example. I want to do an example where we start with an even number in our data set. How about we have different numbers? How about we give these uh, students of ours some test scores? Snoopy. I think Snoopy's pretty smart. You know. Yeah, he, he's a dog. Yeah, well, he gets things done. Huh? Yeah. All right, so Snoopy will give you a 98. Woohoo. Peter Parker, you're usually pretty smart too, isn't he? Science class. Science class, well, this is math class. But Peter, you were a little busy swinging through the streets to study. We'll give you a 90. Still really good. Pretty, yeah, very good. Jabanyan, we're going to give you an 80. Mushrooms. I don't know if mushrooms are smart. I mean, they, they're out of the ground. They have to be small. Well, I gave him a 75. Cappy. Cappy, I bet, is smart. He gets things done. So Cappy will give you a 96. The other puppy will give you a 78. Um, one, two, three. I got six. We'll get a couple more. Somebody else in the class got a... 82, and somebody else in the class got a 92. Okay, so this time we have eight numbers in our data set. Again, the first thing we want to do is line them up, least to greatest. So our lowest score was 75, then 78, then 80. 82, 90, 92, 96, and 98. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Got them. Okay, so now I need to find what's in the middle. Well, this time I have two numbers in the middle. Now, I actually don't have to find the median when finding my inner quartile range, but if I wanted to, I'd add them together and divide by 2, 172 divided by 2 would be 86. But here's the deal. Last time when I drew the lines to do the upper and lower median, there was only one number in the middle. So I put the lines around that one number. This time, when there are two in the middle, I split it right in between. So this number's part of the low, and this number's part of the high. So if there's one in the num one number, you need two lines. But if there are two numbers in the middle, you just need one split right in between. And then we find the medians of the lower and the upper again. One, okay. 78 and 80 are both in the middle. Add them together and divide by 2 is 158. Divided by 2 is going to be 79 is our lower quartile median. For our upper quartile, because I have the two numbers outside, so I have two in the middle again, 92 and 96. Again, add them together and divide by 2 is 188 which divide that by 2, and you're going to have 94. 
only one more step. Now I take the range of those two answers. I take the upper, which is 94. I take the lower, which is 79. I subtract. My inner quartile range is 15. Pretty easy, right? Just finding the middles and subtracting. Now, we're going to take the knowledge that we just learned about these mid middle, lower middle, and upper middle, and we're going to make a graph. It's called a box plot. They used to call it a box and whisker plot, but they decided, oh, that whisker, that, that, that's, that's too corny. We can't use corny in math. I'm still going to use the whisker because we actually are going to make whiskers coming out of the graph. Hmm, they're not as cute as kitty cat whiskers, but they work. Where did I, I have an eraser here somewhere? I'm a dog person. <laughs> well, Andrew, sometimes you just got to go with it. I thought you were a platypus person lately anyway. Okay, so these are called box plots. And you show five pieces of data in the box plot. You show the median. You show the upper median. The lower median. The highest number in the data set. And the lowest number in the data set. That's it. Those are the five things that this graph shows. So it really doesn't take a lot of work to do this. It's just one of those things that's easy, but kind of just takes a long time to do. So let's get some data. So if we were at school, you would be getting these notes with all the box and whisker plots. And so for the example, I have here, I put here are some heights of the players on the basketball team. So our data set is the height in inches of the basketball players. And I just made these up 60 inches, 72, 75, 66, 60, 68, 64, and 70. Now, since I need to find the medians, again, the first thing I have to do is put them in order from least to greatest. So I have two 60s, a 64, a 66, a 68, a 70, a 72, and a 75. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Got them. Okay, so I find the number, my median, my number in the middle. So there are two in the middle. So again, I add them together and divide by two. Or what's right in the middle of 66 and 68? I think it is... 67. That's my median. Now, since there are two numbers in the middle, how many lines do I need to draw? One. Just one. Split right down both of them. So this is my lower. These four are my lower. These four are the upper. So I have two in the middle again. If I add them together and divide by 2, or what is in between, right in the middle of 60 and 64? 62. I do the same with my upper. Add them together and divide by 2, or what's right in the middle of 70 and 72? 71. Look, I have almost everything I need to know for my data set. My median, 67. My lower median, 62. My upper median, 71. My highest number was 75. 
and my lowest number is 60. Now, to do a box plot, one, I make a number line. You do not have to start at the number one. My lowest number is 60. So I'm going to go start at 60. So I hope you can get down here with me, Andrew. So 60, 62, 64, 66, 68, 70, 72, 74, 76. Now this is called a box plot. I'm going to make a box. So I take the three medians and I draw vertical lines above the numbers. So step two, not three, step two, is medians equal vertical lines. That will become my box. So 62 was my lower vertical. 67, vertical. 71, vertical. Make my box from that. Go back to the phone. Oh, thanks. Now I need my whiskers. So the lowest number was a 60. I put a dot above the 60. Whisker onto the box. Keep looking at that. So that's my whisker. And then my highest number was 75. I draw a dot. Whisker. And that's it. Of course, it would need a title. First, I'm going to put that these numbers stand for inches. And these are the heights of the b-ball team. That's all there is to it. Super easy. We're going to do another example because I get that um, you need to see it more than once. I suggest that maybe you do this one with me. If you have pencil or paper, pause me, go get a pencil and paper, and we will do one more. And I will also have these notes on Google Classroom. So if you forget anything or need a refresher, they're on there. And of course, we'll talk about it on Zoom tomorrow as well. So, What's another example? Oh, scores that the football team scored this season. We got a 7, a 21, a 10, a 42, a 35, a 28, a 21, 42. Oh, wait, you already have another 42. And let's go with the 14. So I think I have nine scores. Yep. I know we play 10 games, hopefully more than that, but I'm doing this on purpose. Trust me. I know my football. All right. So again, first step, you should be tired of saying this by now. We put them in order from least to greatest. So seven, 10, 14, next is 21, right? 21, 21, 28, 35, 42 and 42. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Hooray! Okay. So again, the five things, the five things I need, median, lower median, upper median, highest number, lowest number. I always write these five things out when I'm doing a box plot to make sure I have them all. So this time with nine, there's only one number in the middle, and that would be 21. Now, I did this on purpose because when there's only one number in the middle, I need 
two lines to separate my upper and my lower. The 21 that was our middle, he's not going to count. So I got my lower and I have my upper. So between, so I have two in the middle again, 10 and 14. 10 plus 14 is 22, no, 24 divided by 2 is 12 is my lower. My upper, I have 2 in the middle again. 35 and 42, if I add those together, I get 127 divided by 2. No, not 127, 77. Seven. You're not multiplying 3 and 4, Mrs. Scarcity. You are adding them. Oh. So it's 38.5. You could use a calculator for this. I'm trying to use my head here, which I should be good enough with, but I want to check and make sure because I never want to steer you wrong. And I was right, 38.5. The highest score that we got was 42. The lowest score was 7. So I have all my info. Now I just need one. I need the line graph. Or my number line. Well, I'm going from 7 to 42. So I'm not going to count by 2s this time. I'm going to count by 5s. That was the worst line I've ever made. Let's try that again. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. And I usually put in my little notchy so I know exactly where each number is. We're, I'm a math person. We like to be perfect. We like to know exactly where everything is. And we're recording for 22 minutes. I'm almost done. Okay, so again, we do our vertical lines for our medians. So we put in our medians with our vertical lines and make our box. 12 is here. 21 is right here. 38 and a half, one, two, so six, seven, eight in between, vertical lines, box. Now, keep looking at the graph, Andrew, please. Now we need our whiskers. Our lowest number was seven, so we put our dot, whisker. 42 was our highest, dot, whisker. I would label the bottom points. And my title would be football scores. So there we have it. Those are box plots. And if I wanted to find the inner quartile range, upper minus the lower. So we're going to draw some of these together. So make sure you have paper because on Zoom tomorrow, I'm going to make you hold up your graphs so I can see them. That way we, I, I know you know what you're doing. So uh, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.